There we go. You're building your little web, huh? Oh, look at that. That is so cool. So this is a lovely little crab spider I thought I'd show with you, you show you guys really quickly. And it's just here. It's been raining a lot the past few days. Oh, look at that. You can see as the thread comes out of its little thorax there. Oh, that's so cool. But it's been raining so much the last few days that its little web got totally destroyed. And it is just working, 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 working away right now, trying to rebuild its web. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Oh, and you can just, oh, look at that. We can actually see as the spider's following. Yeah, look, it knows exactly how far to go. It brings one leg over and it's like, okay, it needs to be that distance. Isn't that just the most amazing thing? Well, I wish you luck, little spider. And I hope you do well. So where are you going now? See, and it's just, it, it could totally care less. It knows exactly, look at that, exactly how far to put the strands. That is so cool. Well, I'm going to leave it be, but as you can see, it's just this tiny little spider. If I step back on the trail, you almost can't see it. So there's another lesson in just slowing down and looking closely around you. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's so awesome. So here's crab spider part two. And this poor thing is trying to figure out what the heck to do with this pine needle that has landed in its web. And I can't tell if it is trying to like dislodge the pine needle or if it's trying to eat the pine needle. But it's another crab spider. It's huge actually. Like here's my hand for reference. It's a big, big spider. And it's really pretty actually. I'm not really a huge fan of spiders like out of my way for them. But seeing them here, they're just so lovely. They're so bright in their coloration and they've got such awesome patterns. And they're just, they, they could care less that I'm staring at them. They're so busy. I really think it's trying to fight the poor little, uh, the poor little thing's trying to fight the pine needle that has fallen into its web. Sorry about that, buddy. I'd try to move it, but I'm worried I would kind of wreck everything. But yeah, they're just still all around trying to, trying to eat and they're just looking really awesome. So I thought I'd share some more really awesome crab spiderness with you guys. Hi, buddy. And then just really quickly, here's another spider, and we actually meant orb weaver, not crab spider with those last two. But you can see there's the bright coloration again. And if I could get it to focus, you would see the kind of signature. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to focus. But then you would be able to see the signature um, shape to the web. Ah, oh, there we go. Hi. Aren't you handsome? But I love this coloration and I love the way you can see the different stripes and colors on the legs and the different pattern on the back. And the web is kind of different in that it's it's got broader um, broader gaps between the cob or the web parts. But you can't really see that because it doesn't really show up on the camera all right. But there we go. So another little spider. It's just kind of like spider day. Come on, focus. All right, but there's another spider. Whoops, and another one. Another, oh, there's another one. And some mushrooms down there. Oh, so cool. And here's another one who looks even even more different. So kind of like the orb weavers we saw earlier. Oh, come on, focus. Sorry, guys. This is just to get my camera to focus. You had to look at my pretty nails for a second. All right, come on. All right, let's see. Oh, now this is a much different web, too. So I'm not sure how much you guys will be able to see. Because this little spider is so bright. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. But yeah, this little spider is so bright. Different patterns on the back. And the web, which you kind of can vaguely see, is much, much tighter in uh, the gaps between the, the different parts of the web are much closer together than the spider we were just looking at. And there's just so many varieties and so many different species. I love this. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we can compare this one to the other two yellow orb weavers we saw earlier and to the little black one we were just looking at. 